Could Bitcoin be headed towards 10,000 and Litecoin towards 180? We're going to talk about that today. What's up, guys? Crypto Savvy here. I hope everybody's having a fabulous weekend. We're going to take a look at the charts and take a look at Bitcoin's key areas and targets. Take a look at Litecoin, key areas and targets, same thing. It was an exciting night last night. If you guys haven't already, make sure you go down in the description box below. Click in the uh, Discord link free discord uh, we had a great time in there last night with all the action going on definitely check that out guys also down in the description box below there's a abra link that if you deposit a hundred dollars worth of a uh, hundred dollars you get a free 25 dollars worth of bitcoin there's a coinbase one if you make a deposit you get ten dollars worth of free bitcoin uh, there's also a ledger link down there to get you a, a hard wallet uh, that's a good idea guys you've seen what happened to binance and all that that stuff so definitely want to keep your crypto safe and off the exchanges so uh you don't have to use my link but i definitely think you should get some sort of hard wallet to keep your crypto safe uh yeah let's get into the video All right, guys, as always, I want to start out by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion and my view of the market only. Anybody that's doing any trading or investing in this market, I suggest you do your own due diligence and your own research as this market is extremely volatile and risky. Also, keep in mind, it's still a speculative market. Don't put in more than you're willing to lose. And uh, with that being said, if you're new here or you haven't already, hit the subscribe button in the lower right-hand side of the screen. That'll get you subscribed to the channel. And if you take the notification bell, that'll notify you whenever I post new videos, which I try to post every day. Also, if you would, I'd appreciate it if you smash those likes. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. That also gets you entered to win a free t-shirt. Um, the drawings tomorrow, we pick a random comment for, from a random video throughout the week. Um, and then I get a hold of you and we get a t-shirt out to you. So... Definitely don't forget to do that. Also, uh, this is a pretty big day. We reached 2,000 subscribers yesterday. I want to give everyone a huge shout out and thanks for uh, everything you do for the community, especially in the Discord. Um, really appreciate it, guys. You got, I couldn't do it without you. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. This is Litecoin on the daily. And if you've been watching the channel or if you haven't, uh, we've been watching this as a cup and a handle forming here. And if we break this $100, range that'll that'll confirm the handle here and my target after that's around 179 to 180 dollars so uh that's what we're looking at there let's go into the daily rsi make sure you stick around to the end of the video too we're going to take a look at that gold daily chart versus the or the bitcoin daily chart versus the gold weekly chart it's getting pretty interesting guys um i think there's huge things coming so all right looking at the rsi we had this top we have this rising channel formed here the top has been resistance bottom of support we had like a little bear trap here we still have plenty of room to move up guys in the daily so let's look at the four hour and see what we're looking at there and in the four hour um looks kind of messy uh, we had this rising or falling wedge drawn here which we popped out of had a big move up and then we got in this falling channel here and as you can see, I just put these lines in today, these blue ones. Um, this is looking like a rising a rising wedge here. We still have more room to come up and touch the top again. Um, and then possibly back down and over. Let's look at the, the price action and see where that takes us. So, all right, I got, I still have my lower target down here. I took the, I, I took the stuff off it. Let's, I'm going to get that out of the way. I'm going to try to keep these charts a little more clean um so as you can see we had this rising channel which i extended these lines out here and my target was 90 we didn't quite hit that i don't think we're done yet i think we'll probably go up touch that get some resistance off this channel and guys we could come back down uh to the bottom of this channel keep an eye on this area around the 7891 if we break through that then we'll be looking for support on the top of this bigger channel if we break through that, obviously, you know, we have further to go. And uh, worst case scenario, guys, I'm going to just put a target there. Worst case scenario, we come back down to around the $51 range. Um, in my opinion, that's the worst case scenario. But I don't see that happening. Um, I also have a target here around the 69.36. And that's um, if we get up here, test the top of this channel, you know, get some sideways action, come down. And if we break through... 
over here, somewhere along this channel. This is the measured move of the channel down around the $69 range. So keep that in mind. I don't believe that's what's happening, but definitely keep it in mind. Um, so next we're going to look at, we've popped out of this falling channel here. And if we, we do a measured move off of this right here as being the bull flag or the flagpole and this being a big bull flag, measured move off that is all the way up here to the 116 area. And that could happen, guys. Um, I know I thought that stuff was going to happen last weekend, but, you know, it could be happening this weekend. We'll have to keep a close eye on it. Also, I have this uh, $97 range. If we do break this $90 range, I think our next stop is going to be in here, $97 to $98 range. And that's a measured move off of this channel right here. Um, so, yeah, keep an eye on that. If we break 90, we're headed towards the 97, 98. If we're able to break that, which I think once we get up here, we may make some kind of bull flag and then pop through, and that'll get us up to that 115, 116 range. So keep an eye on that, guys. But um, if you've been following along, I hope you're you're learning trend lines and you're drawing this stuff in so you can keep an eye on it. Makes the market a little less stressful. So let's look at Bitcoin and look at Bitcoin on the daily. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see, I have... Uh, two targets up here, 10,000, and then the uh, 9650 to 9700. And I'll show you how I got those guys. The first one is looking at this as a cup and a handle, and we would be forming the handle now. If, it, well, I take that back. Sorry about that. Looking at this right here as a cup and handle, and this being the handle, and if we were to break out the measured move or we did break out. So the measured move off that, guys, would be the $8,200 range. And I do see that quite possible right now, and we'll zoom in and look at it, but I do see that quite possible. But the other possibility I have down here is looking at this whole thing as a bigger cup and then a possible handle forming afterwards. And that measured move would get us up to uh, the $10,000 range. So. Keep that in mind. There's a lot pointing up here, guys. I believe we're still gonna go up. Um, and the other one, if we look at this yellow line here and look at this as a broadening wedge and we would measure where we broke out of there, if that line holds, again, if that line holds, guys, but we do a measured move off of that, bring it up here, and that gets us to that 90, $9,650, $9,700 range between 9600 and 97. So it's all pointing up here, guys. I I definitely see that as a possibility if this line holds. So all right, let's go into the RSI. Looking at the rising wedge in Bitcoin, same thing as in Litecoin. We have a resistance up here, support down here which we broke through at a little bear trap. And I, I'd said yesterday's video that this would look like it was possibly forming a inverse head and shoulders. And that's definitely what it looks like here, guys. Um, we obviously don't have room to move all the way up to the top of this right now, but I do see some more upward motion. That's why I believe we might be having some sideways action and then possibly a move up to reset the RSI. Let's uh, look in the four hour and see what that's looking like. All right, and in the four hour, um, this long-term rising channel with this being the resistance up here support down here um, goes all the way back to you know December last year so anyways and then we had this uh, this symmetrical wedge drawn in here which we popped down out of and back in popped down out of and back in popped out of could be coming back down um, this could be you know watch for that RSI to reset and let's get into the price action, see what it tells us in there. Don't forget to stick around for the uh, Bitcoin daily versus the gold weekly chart, guys. It is getting very interesting. So let me get more in here. All right, let me zoom in. So obviously you can see our targets hit. Uh, the first target was the 65, 65 area. And if we zoom in there, it's kind of funny because we definitely got our resistance <clears throat> in there and you can see where you know the the candle got resistance up here and then it got support down here and then we continued up so definitely um i'm going to keep this here i'm going to take the the price off there though just to clean up the chart and 
that could be our possible you know we could come back down to here and get a bounce at the 6550 area and you know obviously we could go further if we look at the the rsi that would probably match up pretty good with the top of this symmetrical triangle and then getting a bounce there but what i'm looking at now and um obviously that can change we need to keep an eye on this bigger trend line and that's the one i showed you in the beginning moving all the way up if that holds as support you know then i definitely think you know we may bounce around this area a little bit create some sort of bull flag and continue on up and that would bring us you know to our eighty two hundred dollar target so we definitely got to keep an eye on that guys and watch for this trend line to break and um i guess 6675 area would be the area to watch if it breaks through that then the next area to watch would be that 6560 um if we break through that you know then we could be coming back to the top of this channel actually let me i'm gonna get rid of this now um but yeah we could be coming back down to you know somewhere in this area the 59 59 dollar range and if it was to drop straight down obviously we could be looking at the you know 5900 um as i don't see us going this low and i'll show you why in the gold versus bitcoin chart um but definitely keep an eye on that guys i do believe we have more upward movement to go this weekend so should be pretty interesting um also i'm going to show you that 8200 dollar target and why it's there uh this see well i guess we already did that so yeah um that's where i'm at for now that would be the measured move off the cup and handle guys at 8200 the first one the smaller cup and handle so let's get into gold versus bitcoin chart see where we're at there all right so this is bitcoin on the daily i'm gonna switch over to this is the gold chart on the weekly guys um you can see the resemblance i drew these trend lines off of each peak over here once we broke through we never look back and keep in mind guys this is why i think hyperwave is bullshit because this looks like a hyperwave and as you guys most of you know if you're paying attention in the crypto uh you'll know they lost their bet on the 6500 hundred dollar bitcoin the hyperwave theory people so i don't i don't necessarily believe that hyperwave crap i think it's a bunch of clickbait uh like i said i just think it's bullshit so anyways as you can see what happened to gold and and again yeah this is 20 some years but bitcoin's a lot faster um times are a lot faster we have the internet now everything but a pattern is a pattern and if you look at these the similarities are absolutely amazing now um they were talking about getting a big capitulation candle to a thousand dollars and as you can see in gold there was we didn't have to have a capitulation candle at all that would have brought gold down to maybe 50 bucks or something which never happened <clears throat> excuse me um we had two touches on this bottom trend line and just like bitcoin and i'll show you that in a minute but um like i said nice rounded bottom moved up from there right in here 2003 the gold etf was approved and look what happened after that and i know they say etf isn't going to affect bitcoin blah 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 but if that's if the ETF gets approved, it is going to affect Bitcoin, in my opinion, just like it affected gold. So, all right, let's zoom in a little bit to look at Bitcoin. Like I said, same thing. This is having a nice rounded bottom. Got two touches on the bottom trend line, just like the gold pattern. I drew the trend lines off of each one of these peaks, just like in gold, to where it broke down at 6,000. And if we zoom in here, uh nice round about them each time it hit one of these these lines off the peaks was resistance and then became support so this is the last line i have drawn here from the the bottoms of all these uh resist or support we had here which turned into resistance we blew right through that guys um i look for this to hold and if we were to come back down in the next you know daily candle or so um 5560 area just like we looked at in the other chart um that's the area to watch if we break below that 5560 area our next point of support could be you know way down to that 51 5100 to 5200 dollar range guys but like i said i i don't i don't see that happening right now i do see a correction coming maybe after 
uh, the 82 or 10,000. Not to say it's not possible now because it is very possible now, but I don't, I honestly don't think we'll see at this point, even if it corrected now, I don't think we would see below 5,000 ever again. Just my opinion, guys, but you know, take it with a grain of salt. That's just my opinion. But anyways, um, yeah, that's where we're at from there, guys. I would, uh, like I said, my main area to keep an eye on is that 5650, 5660 area. And if we drop below that, we, you know, we could be going into our correction now. But um, I'm more looking towards the 8200 to 10,000 before the correction, but we'll see. Anyways, um, if you enjoyed the video, you liked the content, click the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. That'll get you subscribed to the channel. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos, as I do post every day. Smash those likes. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think's going on. Uh, I love to read you guys' the comments. So, yeah, have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.